Hello everyone, I am Dr. Mayuk Hajra, first year dermatology resident and we are going to have the dermatology rapid revision part 1. So firstly, we need to know the basics of the skin so that we can understand the skin diseases. As we know, the layers of the skin has three parts that is the epidermis, the dermis and in between them there is a dermoepidermal junction. Dermoepidermal junction and there is the subcutaneous tissue coming to the first layer of the skin that is the epidermis epidermis has some cells and there are layers in the epidermis also so in cells we know the most common most abundant cell that is the keratinocytes melanocytes merkel cell langerhan cell layers we can remember that we know the upper layer corneum and we also remember the basal layer that is the basal only so these two are simple to remember now to remember the other layers here is a mnemonic that is the legs l e g s e you omit it so lucidum granulosum spinosum and lucidum is only present in hand and feet the glabrous skin of the hand and feet so it is not present in other layers of the skin Coming to the cells, keratinocytes is the most abundant as I said, it constitutes about 90% hallmark is the keratin filaments. There are many kinds of keratin filaments, only 5 and 14 defect. It leads to epidermolysis bullosa simplex. Melanocytes, it is found in the stratum basal specifically and it is derived from the neural crest cells. Merkel cell, sensory organ, stratum basal only it is present. Now Langerhans cell, it was asked in the AIMS 2019 exam that it is present in the stratum spinosum and it is derived from uh, mesoderm and Langerhans cell histiocytosis, you get the question. So the hallmark is uh, Birbeck granules and if you see in the electron microscope, you get uh, this tennis racket shaped bodies and the markers you should remember because this is a PYQ so it is a futuristic question now if we see into the layers of the skin uh, the stratum corneum that is the disquamating cells if the disquamation is uh, defective somehow it leads to ichthyosis now comes the granular layer why it is granular because it contains granules so in the granules there are two types of granules the filaggrin and the oatland granules both are having moisture retaining capacity so filaggrin defect leads to if it is defect it leads to ichthyosis vulgaris after that is the stratum spinosum why the name spinosum because it has spine like projections so the desmosomes are the spine like projections and it helps to maintain a hexagonal shape and the spine spinous layer contains as i said that the spines are the desmosome so it contains desmosome and it was also asked now the epidermal turnover time means a basal cell it matures into a, in the stratum corneum a dry keratinocyte and it sheds off the whole process takes about 56 days and the epidermal turnover time is reduced in case of psoriasis about 4 days so there is extreme desquamation of the skin Histologically, some significant uh, pathologies, if we see, there is parakeratosis that is nucleus in the stratum corneum because stratum corneum, as you can see, no nucleus. See, no nucleus is there. So, if there is nucleus in the stratum corneum, uh, then it is called parakeratosis. Dyskeratosis means abnormal keratinization, means more keratin or less keratin. Microabscess. Abscess is formed by the accumulation of the inflammatory cells. So it could be um, it could be differentiated according to the inflammatory cell. Coming to first is the neutrophilic abscess. That is the papillary tip microabscess. Papilla means I am showing you here. These are the dermal dermal papilla. So, if in the papillary tip there is a microabscess neutrophilic accumulation, you can see in the microscope 
then it could be due to dermatitis herpetiformis or it could be due to psoriasis you should know the names munro microabscess and kogoj pustules if it is a lymphocytic microabscess it is called the potrier's microabscess and it is seen in the mycosis fungoides eosinophilic microabscess it is seen in femfigus vegetans not too much important but uh, you can still remember them now a uh, important concept that is the acantholysis acantholysis means breaking of the desmosomes the breaking of the spines of the of the uh, keratinocytes in the stratum spinosum so agar kisi ka spine hi tod doge to uska shape kya maintain rahega to yahan pe hexagonal shapes rehta hai pentagonal shapes rehta hai to log ka kya shape maintain rahega agar tum spine tod dete obviously nahi rahe to kaun sa shape mein jayega jisme hai lowest surface tension like you pour a drop of water the drop of water or a drop of mercury it assumes a spherical shape because it has the lowest surface tension from the concept of physics so yahan pe bhi lowest surface tension so acanthocytes are always round cells hyperchromatic nuclei and in zank smear means if you burst a bulla or burst a any uh, bulla and smear it and see it under the microscope then you can see either acanthocytes that is present in the femfigus group the darius disease the heli heli disease we are going to discuss in the next class about these diseases or else you can see the multinucleated giant cells that are present in herpes now the dermo epidermal junction it is a important concept because epidermis and dermis completely two different layers are held together by uh, adhesion by uh, super glue so inside the structure if you see uh, till now no question has been asked but if you know this a future aims question could also be asked and here you can summarize the sub epidermal splitting disorders also so as i said epidermolysis bullosa simplex keratin 5 and 14 the defect uh, bpag 1 and 2 in bullous femfigoid and in linear iga bpag 2 and epidermolysis dystro bullosa dystrophica it is the type 7 collagen we can see the Lamina densa is consisting of the type 4 collagen. Type 4 collagen, as we know, is the basement membrane collagen. So, where the type 4 collagen defect we can see, it is the Alport Alport syndrome. So, there is basement membrane splitting, the basket width appearance in the glomerulus. So, if we don't do in glomerulus biopsy also at first, if we do the skin biopsy also, we can see the splitting because here also the type four collagen is present in the basement membrane. Okay, like this you have to correlate each and every subject. Coming to the dermis, question was asked. Collagen is arranged in dense irregular fashion. Uh, coming to the subcutaneous tissue, the disorder that we find is the paniculitis. Uh, see the structure of the uh, adipose tissue. so here are the septa and in between the two septa there is a macrolobule of the adipocyte and from the macrolobule this is the blood supply in the center uh, is the blood supply of the macrolobule so if it is lobular means inside the lobule that is a vasculitis of the blood vessel it would lead to ischemia ischemia in this region and it would be necrosed and depressed so it would cause ulceration but if it is in the septum so no vascular compromise is there it would lead to only a swelling okay so that is erythema notosum seen in the anterior leg do not ulcerate and the conditions you should uh, remember uh, in which erythema notosum could be seen the mycobacterium infection sarcoidosis and many more are there uh, some bacterial infection do remember them and in case of lobular we say erythema induratum it is seen in the posterior surface of the leg and it ulcerates coming to the skin appendages when skin also has some appendages like we have our hands skin also has some of its appendages the first appendages is the hair here in hair follicle the stem cells are present in adamson's fringe the, that is the bulge area of the hair in hair cycle it is act anagen catagen telogen so anagen is in years catagen is the shortest phase that lasts for weeks and telogen is for 3 months only uh 
we can classify alopecia if we see alopecia we can classify it into scarring and non scarring varieties so the non scarring alopecia is more important we would focus on them anagen effluvium means the anagen hairs are targeted we see in chemotherapy telogen effluvium in chronic disease or pregnancy so we see the loss of hair 3 months after the disease okay because you know telogen phase last for 3 months so the previous telogen as it would shed off then only the telogen effluvium occurs androgenetic alopecia sab logo ka itna problem hai bahut sara ads aa raha hai tumko traya mintop so this is the game for dermatologist this is the breeding ground for dermatologist androgenetic alopecia or pattern hair loss so in males you would identify the pattern by the hamilton grading and in females you would do so by the ludwigs or olsen grading hamilton ko kaise yaad rakhoge ladke log to handsome hote hai na so h for h handsome hamilton now we have two treatments the topical minoxidil it is available in 2% 5% now 10% is also there no need to discuss 2% uh, if given to female given bd and 5% given to male given bd and in systemic finasteride only for males finasteride is only for males i am not explaining the mechanism in dermatology specific classes not the rapid revision i would explain everything alopecia areata there is patchy hair loss you can see a image like this in the chrome and exclamation mark here is seen in dermoscopy so these are the pointers that would be there and it is also a pyq trichotillomania it is also a pyq it has been asked in the knee because it is pulling of the hair so there would be pinpoint hemorrhages if you would see and in systemic diseases sla and many other disorders are there that causes non scarring alopecia scarring alopecia in infection favors carry on one of the autoimmune uh, disorder that is the discoid lupus erythematosus and the ini ct favorite the front, frontal fibrosing alopecia till now they have said only to classify uh, which one is scarring and the answer was frontal fibrosing alopecia so see the image there uh the hair starts from back end you can see the image of frontal fibrosing alopecia and in scarring you can't do hair transplant okay because scarring is going on now if you transplant a new hair that would also undergo scarring and the follicle would be destroyed now the second appendage that is the nail and we see the changes if it is superficial regular pitting then it is alopecia areata if it is deep irregular pitting psoriasis which is the most common finding of psoriasis and the oil drop sign is the most specific see the images okay in uh, pterygium it is present uh, that is a fan like projection it is present in the lichen planus subungual hyperkeratosis if it is thick and adherent that you can't take it out then it is found in psoriasis it was also asked in a previous year question and if it is friable it is seen in nail infection that is the onychomycosis now leukonychia teres nail see this is a teres nail 90% leukonychia and the distal 10% there is redness so i have made a mnemonic teri meri prem kahani hai so teri so teres nail and kahani hai so chf and hepatitis it is found in half and half nail it is seen in chronic renal failure because we have two kidneys and we can do half one kidney one kidney so it is half and half nail chronic renal failure the banded nail hypoalbuminemia this only you have to remember baki to mnemonic sikhai diye sweat gland so this was asked in ini set uh, 2023 also as you know can see that the basics are asked more in the ini set it is not asked much in the neat okay so sweat glands it could be eccrine and apocrine ye bahut hi pehle ka concept hai matlab tum log first year mein seekh chuke ho to eccrine glands the duct opens directly it is present everywhere in the body and apocrine it uh, comes out only along with the hair here and it is present in the axilla areola or the groin 
the sweat glands of the eccrine are cholinergic and it is adrenergic a for a okay adrenergic apocrine aise karke yaad rakhna aur disorders of the eccrine are the anhydrosis hyperhidrosis bahut logo ka haath mein pasina bahut zyada hota hai miliria means if it is blockage it leads to what's called ghamori garmi mein ghamori aa rahi and here bromhidrosis that is smell chrome hydrosis fox for dye spot heer adenitis superativa this could be asked as a spotter heer adenitis superativa see the image okay sebaceous gland now in sebaceous gland the main disorder we see is the acne vulgaris this i have shown a image of the blackheads or the open comedones a uh, simple short and simple grade and the treatment you get grade 1 consist of only comedones it could be open or it could be closed if it is closed then it is whited if it is open then the keratin is oxidized and it forms black in color so topical retinoids is the treatment no antibiotic is required because the propionobacterium acne is not proliferating here it is only a blockage of keratin grade 2 there is some infection because pustules are forming Uh, grade two papules are more than pustules, and grade three pustules are more than twenty. So in this case, we give the oral antibiotics, the benzoyl peroxide, the topical retinoids, the topical antibiotics. Any combination we can give. Oral antibiotic is a must, I would say. And in type four, this has been asked many times. So the drug of choice is isotretinoin. Most common side effect: teratogenic facial defects. this has been asked in the aims 2019 also aims 2016 and 19 and this is has been asked in neat 22 so the drug of choice is isotretinoin that is a retinol derivative and it causes most common side effect is dryness and most severe you can say a rare side effect is the DISH and you need to monitor the liver enzymes in this case because it has a tendency to rise them. So ये हम लोग का आखरी मतलब आखरी regimen का दवाई है जो हम लोग एकदम last में देते हैं grade three में और grade four हुआ तो हम लोग दे देते हैं because इतना सारा nodular cystic lesions अगर रहेगा तो फिर उसमें से तुम्हारा scarring होने का बहुत chances है तो scarring को prevent करने के लिए हम लोग देते हैं But it is teratogenic, so category X drug. So it should not be prescribed to pregnant patients or those who are planning for pregnancy. And if you are planning for pregnancy, stop the drug one month before planning for pregnancy. And the teratogenic effect it causes is the facial defects. Now, not responding. If it is not, uh, if they are not responding to treatment, acne is not responding to treatment. This year, need question, need two thousand. 24 question 23 sorry need 2023 question not responding to treatment c causes of hyperandrogenism because there are three three causes of acne that is blockage another is the bacterial proliferation another is the sebum production increase so the sebum production is increased by the androgens okay so you should look into the causes of hyperandrogenism also If it is not responding to conventional treatment, or if you see signs of hirsutism in case of female. Now the last topic that is the rosacea. The site is convexity of the face associated with flushing. See the flushing. See the flushing. See the telangiectasia, erythema, and telangiectasia. This you could see. Pustules also you can see. And grade four, what it causes? Potato nose. a previous asked question in ent so i think this completes today and uh, do give me feedback in the comment section that how i should proceed for the further dermatology rapid revision videos means i should explain this much or i should reduce the explanation and go a bit fast so that it covers in less amount of time and uh, do hit the like button aim karte hain ki hum logo ko 200 likes mil jaye fir next part aa jayega okay all the best